y'all, it is a summertime baby, which means we need some healthier for you cocktails. And as a registered dietitian, that is my favorite thing to make, especially during the summertime. Give me a drink by the pool, give me a drink for the beach, and make it easy and little ingredients. Also, can we add some fiber? Also, can we add some antioxidants? And can it be little to zero added sugar? Well, let's buckle up and get our drink on. people and welcome back. I am stoked for this video. If we haven't met yet, my name is Nicole. I'm a registered dietitian and fitness instructor. Been in the nutrition fitness world for well over 10 years. And if you follow me on TikTok, you know one of my favorite things to do is to make a cocktail healthier. Either have no added sugar, little added sugar, or even add some nutrition to it. Super fun, super thrilling, super exciting. Of course, my first disclaimer is gonna be don't drink unless it's a legal age of wherever you are. Make sure you're not driving any kind of automobile and you are being safe because no one wants to be that girl. Also, side note, I, as a dietitian, I gotta say, alcohol, of course, it's not healthy. It actually is a toxin. Yet, I do know people like myself like a drink, like a cocktail, like to have fun with their friends and family. And if you are one of those people, let's make drinking a little healthier. You know what I mean? We don't need a bunch of sugar, a bunch of ingredients in our cocktails. I'm gonna show you three drinks that have either zero added sugar or minimal added sugar that you can make in your home. All of these drinks can be made in bigger containers if you're making it for, let's say, like a pool party or a beach party. So let's go on to the first cocktail. Basically, it's a spiked Arnold Palmer. Very easy to make, and so let's start. The first thing you're gonna need is I chopped up some peaches that I got from the farmer's market, put it into a container, into a cup, whatever you want, and muddle it. Now the muddling is just gonna open some of the flavors, open like I'm a real bartender. It's just gonna make the peach flavor come out a little bit more in your drink. Add some ice into your cup. I love the diet iced tea from Publix. It's just iced tea with Splenda in it, so no added sugar. You could also just do regular brewed iced black tea and add your own sweetener if you must. So I'm gonna do about two ounces of this, so two shots, some sort of diet or light lemonade. I really do like the Simply Light. There's 25 calories per cup and only five grams of added sugar. I'm only using two ounces. And if you didn't know, two ounces is a fourth of a cup. Quick math. Then depending on how strong you want your drink to be, one or two ounces of vodka will do. Now this vodka was on sale. I definitely should have spent five more dollars and got the Tito's. Shake her up. Roll of thumb, shake until your hands feel like they're gonna get frostbite. You totally could strain it, but I actually like the peaches as a little snack at the end, a little fiber, a little vitamin C action by the poolside. Dietitian weird thing. It is so stinking good. The lemonade is slightly tart. The peaches make it feel like it's from a farm stand. I mean, I don't know what farm stand sells alcohol, but if you have a farm stand, maybe you should. How many calories and grams of sugar is actually in simple syrup? Well, if you didn't know, simple syrup is half water, half sugar, melted to create what people put in drinks to make it sweet. And that way when it's melted down with water, it blends with the drinks very well. But in each ounce, which is about a shot's worth of simple syrup, there's about 50 calories and around 10 to 12 grams of sugar. And uh, you can see how quickly having two or three drinks with just one ounce of simple syrup can add up. And as a dietitian who's very against this or that and loves the gray area, it doesn't mean that every single drink you have can't have added sugar. But swapping and adding these small changes, if you like them, can really create big results and help you for your health in the long run. I'm all about those small changes that you really don't notice. The next drink is the Black Bear Lemonade. And let me tell you what, TikTok was an uproar about this Black Bear Lemonade. Everyone loved it. So I wanna make it again and elevate it just a little bit. So all you're gonna need right now is your blackberries, cause there's blackberries in it. It's called Blackberry Lemonade. If you wanna make it raspberries or any other kind of berry, free to go for it. I do recommend any kind of red, blue or blackberry, and that's just gonna be because there's more antioxidants in those. And what do antioxidants do? Well, they fight free radicals. And what is a free radical? You got it, alcohol. So if we can counterbalance some of the free radicals in our body due to the alcohol, 
I mean, that's the gray area I love. Where they completely counterbalance and basically null the alcohol? No, because that's not how science works. Here's the thing that people are in a debate for. You can tear the mint, or you can just hit it and put it in here as well. The number one thing I will say that Tech Talk agreed with is do not muddle the mint. It will become bitter. But here's the thing, your drink. So if you like to tear the mint like I do, go for it. Put a lot of ice in here and about four to six ounces of lemonade. Now you could just directly put this into a cup. You don't have to mix it, but this is a video, so I'm gonna entertain you. Just a little bit extra, give a little bit of flair. Then about a shot, shot and a half worth of alcohol. Be careful with the amount of alcohol you have and always hydrate in between. Stay safe. Time to mix her up. If you're on a date, maybe straighten it so you don't get seeds in your teeth, but you do you. Little bit of a lemon wedge and cut a blackberry, put it in half. How smoke show of a drink do you have here? Mm. The blackberries just give it a little extra mm, that it tastes like a $15 drink and it doesn't just taste like lemonade vodka. Try it. You will not be disappointed by this one. Have you ever been grocery shopping and looking for your mixers and you saw club soda, seltzer water, and tonic water next to each other and you're like, they'll all be the same, they'll all taste the same, there's no difference. Or have you ever wondered what the difference is? Well, I have the answer for you right now. Seltzer water is just water that's carbonated. So it's just bubbly water, super fun, super light. Club soda, on the other hand, still is carbonated water, but they add potassium bicarbonate and potassium sulfate to give it that more of like a salty taste a little more elevated flavor, and that's why bartenders would use club soda over seltzer water. Tonic water, on the other hand, if you've ever had it, you've probably noticed that it has a sweeter, bitter taste, and that's because of two ingredients. One, it usually has sugar unless you're getting diet tonic water, or like I have here, the Zevia tonic water that actually just uses stevia instead of sugar. And it has an ingredient called quinine, and quinine is what is giving the tonic water that more bitter taste. The more you know. The last drink is called the spa water. And let me tell you what, it tastes like you're at the spa with a hint of a party. Basically a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. The business is a spa, the party is the vodka. First ingredient is cucumbers because what spa doesn't have cucumber water? So I cut the cucumbers into tiny pieces. You told the can, you don't have to. And then I'm gonna muddle it because what is a drink without muddling? Half of a lemon, just because I love lemon a lot more than I like lime. But if you like lime, totally add lime. I'm gonna add some mint because this is a spa drink. I'm gonna tear two leaves just to make it a little bit more fragrant, nothing crazy. About a shot and a half per usual into our beverage. And then add in the ice first. I just like adding the ice in first because then I'm gonna stir it and meld these flavors. And what's really gonna make this all come together is this tonic water. Now you can use diet tonic water, or this tonic water is from Zevia. If you don't know what Zevia is, it's basically carbonated beverages that are mimicking sodas, but with no added sugar. They actually just use stevia. The best thing with adding tonic water, if you're trying to make a lighter drink, add more tonic water. If you want it stronger, add less tonic water. That's completely up to you, and that's kind of why I like making drinks at home, is sometimes I'm not really trying to get drunky. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just want a drink that's light. How sick and cute is she? Oh my gosh. You could also use club soda if you don't like the tonic taste, and that'll be even more refreshing as a spa water. But I think tonic with cucumber is just so stinking good. My number one pet peeve with drinking is how every recommendation says that men can drink more alcohol than women. Like the patriarchy, it's everywhere. But unfortunately, we can't blame the patriarchy for this one, we know. Shucks. But it is because of an enzyme and the water content compared to males and females. Generally speaking, females have less of the enzyme and less water in their body than their male counterparts. And that means alcohol will affect us for a longer period of time because males can break down ethanol way quicker than women. And now this is just generally speaking. So as women, I definitely recommend drinking more water in between each drinks. And men, drinking water in between each drinks is still gonna be beneficial for you because who doesn't love staying hydrated? All right, y'all, those are all the drinks. I hope you like it. Whatever drink you decide to make, let me know in the comment section below. Tag me in social media and let me know what you think of them and if you change anything about the recipe, 
because I would love to hear your thoughts. If you haven't already, press like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, drink your water, eat your fruits and vegetables, and be kind to yourself and those around you, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all.